I just got my Jersey cow two months ago. I'm so freaking excited. And for the first time ever, I am making cheese. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm literally following a YouTube video step by freaking step. We're gonna see how it turns out. I usually don't make things that taste good or turn out well. So hopefully this is the exception. We gotta get the milk to 86 degrees. We'll get 82. I don't know, we're guessing. We're figuring this out as we go. Yeah, like guys, it's right there. All right, we got ourselves a clean break. It's time to cut my very first curds. So satisfying. Oh, is my knife gonna make it all the way to the bottom? Knife barely makes it. Stirring my curd. I'm stirring the curd. And heating it up very slowly. Okay, now in the cheddaring phase. I will cut this and cheddar. Well, I did not time manage this well. <laughs> I did not realize how long it takes to make cheese. So I just finished cheddaring it, which is like when you put it in this pot and you flip it every 15 minutes for like two hours and you have this pot in 100 degree water to keep it warm and keep the cheese warm. So I'm still not done. I'm not even close. It's, it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> I got to now break the curd. So like break off pieces, bigger pieces than that, but I want to eat this. Mm, it's a quick change. Um, salt it. And then after salting it, I have to s turn it every 10 minutes for 30 minutes. Okay. I got it salted. I did the cheddaring. You, while well, you break it, re-cheddar it again, I guess, for another 30 minutes, and then salt it. And then I'm gonna put it in my cheese press. But so good, so good once it's been salted. Oh. Okay. It's time to flip my cheese in the cheese mold, and then I can finally go to bed. It's like 12:30. Uh, I can finally go to bed and put 50 pounds of pressure on this. I don't really know how I'm going to do that. I don't have 50 pound weights. I think, I'm thinking, I can fill up that, my cooler over there with water until it hits 50 pounds and then place it on top of this. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I always do. Um, but anyways, I got to flip, flip the cheese, put 50 pounds of pressure on it, and I can go to bed, and then in 12 hours, come out, flip it again, and put 80 pounds of pressure on it. I don't know for how long, but I think then that's the last press. And then I leave it out for two to five days. And then either I'll vacuum seal it. I'll probably vacuum seal it. Yeah, yeah. And then it sits for six months. So Christmas, I'll have cheese. 